Hello and welcome to Capital TV. I'm Kasim Hassan Ali. Embattled Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Chairman Mumo Matemo has resigned. Matemo's resignation follows that of his deputy Irene Keino. The two were suspended by President Uhuru Kenyatta to allow for investigations into accusations of incompetence leveled against them. U.S. President Barack Obama has reiterated his commitment to visit Kenya in July. Despite coming under criticism from pandits for the decision, he says the Global Entrepreneurship Summit which he is attending and which will be the first held in sub-Saharan Africa is a critical part for his diplomatic agenda. A section of American pandits have criticized his decision to visit his father's homeland as a sitting head of state, citing recent terror attacks and Kenya's poor integrity record. But President Obama has maintained that keeping youth gainfully employed is one of the ways to fight terror and the Nairobi summit is one of the ways to, of creating these opportunities. And this summer I'll travel to Kenya. While I'm there I'll participate in the... All right, yo. How about it? The, uh, so we're going we're gonna to participate in the sixth Global Entrepreneurship Summit, and I'll have the opportunity to meet some of the brilliant young entrepreneurs from across Africa and around the world. If enough folks respond to the challenge that I'm issuing today, I believe that at the summit in Nairobi, we'll be able to announce new investments and commitments that will pay off for years to come. He was speaking in Washington, D.C. last night when he met a group of global entrepreneurs at the White House. The Rotary Club has pledged to donate 15 mobile clinics, incubators and other medical clinics to boost the First Lady's Beyond Zero campaign. The club made the commitment when Rotary International President Gary Huang paid a courtesy call to the First Family at State House. The First Lady will hand over the 26th mobile clinic to Kerisha on Wednesday in her effort to reduce mother and child mortality. After this break, the international news. EGG Pay is a new service from Nairobi City County aimed at making life easier for residents. You can now pay your parking fees with EGG Pay conveniently with no hassle. No more hide and seek with parking attendants. No more tickets. No more bribes. To pay your parking fee with EGG Pay, first create your e-wallet if you haven't. Dial star 217 hash. Enter your details as prompted and create your e-payment pin. Top up your e-wallet via M-Pesa or Airtel Money using business number 147147 and your phone number as the account number. Finally, you can pay for your parking by dialing star 217 hash. Select two for parking. Select either one for daily. Enter vehicle registration number. Select your closest area number. Select vehicle category. Confirm payment transaction. Confirm your EGG pay pin. Then await a text message for confirmation. The process will take you just five minutes, but will go a long way in making your life easier. For more information, go to epayments.nairobi.go.ke or call 0788-200-000. EGG Pay means your right to expect service. EGG Pay. Malipo kwa urahisi. Welcome back. Another earthquake and aftershocks have killed dozens of people in Nepal on Tuesday. Only weeks after the country's deadliest quake in more than 80 years, terrified residents once again fled onto the streets while lawmakers had to scurry from parliaments as the earth began shaking beneath their feet. Officials in Nepal said at least 36 people were killed, while 17 people also died across the border in northern India, most in the state of Bihar. The 7.3 magnitude quake struck at 12.35 p.m. some 76 kilometers east of Kathmandu after a 7.8 magnitude quake on April 25th killed more than 8,000 people. In business, the ERC has closed and blacklisted 10 fuel stations in the country for the sale of adulterated fuel. Three stations are from Nairobi, two from Meru, one in Kisumu, Vihiga, Laikipia, Kiambu, and another one in Uwasingishu. ERC now wants the respective county commissioners to withdraw the licenses of the said stations as they are against the law. The regulator says it carried out a total of 3,044 tests from January to April out of the 1,574 petroleum outlets.
Some of the stations were found selling diesel mixed with kerosene, selling kerosene which is contaminated with gasoline or offering sale of transit or export diesel. And now we take a look at the financial reports. In sports, after winning his first marathon in Hamburg a fortnight ago, Lukas Rotich is now aiming for the World Marathon Majors in the fall. Rotich, who returned to competition last year after a two-year knee injury, said he would like to race in New York or Chicago marathons. For more on this and other stories, do log on to our website www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash tv. Please let us know about your views about Obama's planned trip to Kenya. Good evening.